our father and our god we just want to thank you this evening we exalt your holy name for your faithfulness we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your grace we thank you for your presence we thank you for your kindness you alone are worthy lord you are worthy of all our praises you are worthy to be lifted you are worthy to be exalted you are worthy to be magnified Lord, we thank you for all that you have been doing in our lives since day one of this prayer and fasting. Here we are, day number 12. We are so, so grateful for the privilege we have to be partakers of this time in your presence. We thank you for the many blessings that we have been receiving. We thank you for the testimony that has been following. Father, we say may your name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. We have come, O oh Lord, to say thank you for what you have been doing in every area of our lives. In our household, in our family, we can see your mighty hands. We extol you today for you are good, you are faithful, there is none like you. And Lord, as we come into your presence, we hereby confess our sins, we confess our errors unto you. Wherever we have fallen short of your glory, we ask for mercy today. Let the blood of Jesus Christ be released to cleanse us, to purify us from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. That every sin, anything that stands in your presence as blemish upon us, let the blood of Jesus Christ wash it away in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, as we begin to call upon your name, we pray, O oh God, that you will hear us out of your holy hill. You will grant our requests according to your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone in-house and online, no matter the situation that we find ourselves in, as we call upon your name today, we pray, O oh God, that you will meet us at our point of need. Let there be open heaven over this service in the name of Jesus. And above it all, let your will alone be done. And at the end of it all, we will not forget to return to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration because they are yours. Thank you, Almighty Father, for an answer prayer. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready to give God praise? Yes. Hey. Say, you are God. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. We say you are God. Oh, you are God. You are God. You are not just me. You are not just large. You are a great God. We say you are God. Oh, you are God. You are not just me.
feel like dancing. I feel like dancing. I feel like dancing. I feel like dancing. Listen to this. Say, my God is a good God. Yes, He is. Are you sure?
becoming more fun he decided to take it down amen. amen glory be to God Jehovah you are worthy of all our praise you are worthy to be worshipped you are worthy to be exalted oh we are so so grateful we with a heart full of praise we have come to say thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord for who you are thank you Lord for what you continue to do you are Yahweh you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The Almighty Father, there is none like you. Who can contend with you, Lord? Who can compete with you, Lord? There is none. No principality, no power, no kingdom, no throne. There is no king huh, that can come against you. You are God all by yourself. And it is settled forever and ever. Oh, we are so grateful to know you. We are so grateful to have you by our side. We are so grateful for the privilege we have to call you our God, our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. Oh, we are so, so grateful. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. Be thou lifted in the name of Jesus. Be thou magnified over this atmosphere. For you alone are worthy. There is none. There is none like you. There is no other God anywhere. You are God alone. The only living God. The almighty father. Oh you are worthy of all praise. Let our praises be acceptable unto you today. In the name of Jesus. Lord we want to see your glory Lord. We ask, O oh God, that you come down in your majesty, in your power. Let your Shekinah glory rest upon this service today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where your presence is, there is your power. Lord, manifest your power in our midst today. Touch every life. Touch every situation let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I submit myself into your hand, O oh Lord. I cannot do it, but you can. I ask, O oh God, that you will fill me up with yourself and by yourself. Fill me up with fresh fire and fresh anointing. That only what you have in mind will be done here today. That we may all be blessed. And we will be delivered to the glory of your name. Thank you, Almighty Father, for an answer of prayer. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, people of God, it is well with you all in the name of Jesus Christ. If you've noticed, this is day number 12. 
Praise the Lord. Day number 12. Hallelujah. And the Lord has been walking his works in our lives. Hallelujah. If you have been praying, then you know the topic for today. Demolishing stronghold of limitations. Demolishing strongholds of limitation. Hallelujah. We already know what strongholds are. Amen. But as I, as I was meditating, you may have your seat. God bless you. As I was meditating, two cases, two scenarios in the scripture came into my spirit. And that is from where we will pray tonight. Amen. Two cases. First one is the book of John chapter 5. And I got to look at this from a whole different perspective. John chapter 5. Verses 5 to 8. Praise the Lord. John chapter 5, verses 5 to 8. There is a man we always refer to as the man by the pool. Praise the Lord. But the man suffered limitations. Praise the Lord. The book of John chapter 5, verses 5 to 8. What are limitations? Another word that I saw there, limit to be limited is to be incomplete. To fall just short of what is needed. To fall short of what is needed. When, when, when I was led to this scripture, when you look at the complaint of this man, you will see that this man fell short of what was needed for 38 years. 38 years, he was at the pool like he was never there. But he was there. He was there. The whole time he was there for 38 years, he was sitting. But he never made it there. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, now there was a certain man. Now a certain man was there who had infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already had this condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, he was given his limitations. Sir, number one, I have no man to put me in the pool. When the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another step down before me. Praise the Lord. Number one, he had no man. He had no help to get him there. Number two, another limitation. He was making stride. He was trying. He was coming. But he never made it there. He never, his effort did not amount to nothing. He didn't have the support. He himself could not do it. And when he tried to do it, others stepped upon him. I want us to pray. Every stronghold that has made me a stepping stone for another to, to rise to their destination, I tear it down today. They are using him as a, as a launching pad to get in. He has been giving them booster to get up there. But he has never gotten up there. I want us to pray. Say every stronghold that, I have, that has made me a launching pad for others to get ahead. That has made me a stepping stone for others to get ahead. I tear it down today. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, Jehovah, every demonic stepping stone, every demonic stronghold that has made my life a stepping stone for others to get ahead in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the name of Jesus, I tear it down today. In the name of Jesus, I tear it down today. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold that has made people to use me as a step to get up, as a step to get ahead, in the name of Jesus, I tear it down. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, another step 
down before me. Amen. As I was looking, it's a difference to say the man just sat there all along. No. He sat there. He tried to get there, but he fell short. He, he fell short. Praise the Lord. He, 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 it's not like he was just sitting. But there was something different about this day. As he was listing these limiting factors that are working against him. This particular day was special because the one that gives the power that stirs up the water came to search him out. Power found him where he was. I pray that the power of God will find us at the very beginning of our limitations in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the power of God changes all things. I want us to pray. Let somebody say, Jehovah God, let your transformative power huh? find me as I am. Find me where I am. At that point of limitation, to move me to my place of divine arrangement. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Jehovah God, let your transformative power, let your power find me. Let it find my household. Let it find every member of Global Vision Ministry where we are as we are. At our point of limitation, let it move us to a place of divine arrangement. In the name of Jesus Christ, transformative power of the Holy Ghost, find us today. Find every member of Global Vision Ministries. Find every member of my family. Everyone online, everyone in-house. Locate us today. Move us to our place of divine arrangement. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say, oh God, my Father, as I have made it today to your presence, arise and deliver me. From every stronghold of limitation that has continuously made me fall short of reaching my there. The place of this man was the pool. It has, he has even become the local mayor of the pool. Praise the Lord. But he can never get to the pool. Come on, if they say the throne is right there and the throne is for you, how do you know you are ruling a place if you never make it to the throne? He was there like he was never there. Praise the Lord. The evidence of being there, the evidence of being by the pool was running away from him for so long because of the limitations. Praise the Lord. Say, oh God, my Father, as I have made it today to your presence, arise and deliver me from every stronghold of limitation that has continuously made me to fall short of reaching my there. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, as I have made it into your presence today, arise, O God, deliver me, deliver everyone under the sound of my voice from every stronghold of limitation that has continuously made us to fall short of reaching our there, of reaching that place you have prepared for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's say this man's problem is handicap. Then there are other factors that handicapped him too. That he could not get to where he was going. There are some spiritual handicaps. Not just physical. Spiritually. Praise God. I want us to pray. Let some say, Jehovah God, you know my situation. Let every stronghold of limitation that has handicapped me spiritually or physically 
experience your power today in the name of Jesus Christ father in the mighty name of Jesus Jehovah God you know my situation you know our situation you know the situation of everyone under the sound of my voice today father let every stronghold of limitation that has handicapped us spiritually or physically let them meet your power today let them meet your power today let them meet your power today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may have your seat for a moment, people of God. Again, limitations. When we are talking about limitations, is to cause us to not reach that goal. Praise the Lord. Cause you not to achieve that vision that you have so said before. Praise God. Another key thing that the enemy used limitations for is to make you fall short of the expectation of God. Because who says he knows the plan that he has? God said he knows the plan that he has. And the enemy sees, again, I always say sometimes because we are impatient, we don't tune into God, we don't pay attention to the plan that God has for us. Some people even shortchange themselves. They will say, ah, how can God think such good thing about me? Ah, you must not know this God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. What you think concerning yourself is not even a penny to a million. It's way more than what, what God thinks concerning you. You are thinking on a penny level. God is thinking beyond the numbers that we cannot even count. That's how God thinks concerning you. That is the weight of the difference between how you think about yourself and how God thinks about you. So when enemy sees such, he comes and says, okay, if I put this here, I, I build this ramification. He will not be able to get over here. If he doesn't get over here, he cannot reach the plan that God has for him. But the moment you start to agree with your limitations, how long would this man be telling this story? Until Jesus said, do you want to hear? I, I, I didn't ask you. It was a yes or no question. But he had to give query about what he's been passing through. Sir, it's not that I wasn't trying, you know. A lot of you online, you have the same story. It's not that I haven't been trying, you know. This is why God called this time to break the, this curse of almost. Uh -uh. How can someone already be there? You are sitting, you are looking at the pool, but you cannot get there. Even if you have to hire, hire some hands in advance. He said, the, the troubling of that water next year, ha, I must get there. I will hire some hand in advance. But he was there just telling story. I decree and declare your stories of limitations come to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not limited. God can't be limited. You cannot even box God in your mind. How can you let the devil box you in your mind? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to lose yourself from the, the bonds of limitations. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Say in any area of my life. Yeah. Where the, the stronghold of limitation. Has been forcing me. To live below God's expectations. Let the power of God pull me up today. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, in any area of my life where the stronghold of limitation has been forcing me to live a life that is below the expectation of God. Let the mighty hand of God pull me up and pull me out. In the name of Jesus. Let the mighty hand of God pull me up and pull me out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You may have your seat for a moment and we'll go into prayers again. But you have to understand something about strongholds. Amen. Amen. 
stronghold that we are talking about that set limitation. I believe in one thing. The devil cannot stop what God has ordained. Amen. The devil cannot stop what God has ordained. Amen. But you, you yourself, you can be in the way. You can slow down what God is trying to do. Praise the Lord. Because when the enemy wants to build a stronghold, most time when we talk about stronghold, we think about the military one. Yeah, it's the idea of the stronghold that we are talking about, but it's the one that is in your mind that you tell yourself, I can't do it. Praise God. Even to the, to the little ones, we start to tell them, don't use the word I can't. Don't say I can't do it. There is nothing called I can't. Praise the Lord. I can't is a reason not to try. Try and fail. And we will tell you how to do it well. But don't say I can't. This is something we are trying from our little. Because I've said a lot of I can't growing up. But I want them to know that I can't should not be in their dictionary. But use the word to say, the word of God tells you, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Like Proverbs 23 verse 7, part 8 say, the first part say, for as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Praise God. If you think you are not good enough, praise the Lord. Brick by brick, the enemy will build a stronghold that will hold that negative thinking, that negative pattern of thinking that will hold it in a, in a place. Again, brick, stronghold don't just happen at one time. You're thinking it, you're meditating it, praise the Lord, and the stronghold is built. Praise the living Jesus. When we move into the next scenario, which has to do with Jabez. The name he was given is something he will hear all the time. Parents will call him. If he go to school, they will call him. Teacher will call him. Whether he was a good student or not, if, even if they want to call his name. Hey, Sorrow. Hey, Sorrow, let's play. Hey, Sorrow, it's time to eat. This is the name that he's hearing every time. He's stuck. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. When we get to that place, I want us to pray. I was studying that. Daddy, I was like, ah. Honorable for nothing. Honorable for word of mouth. This is the one a siblings will look and say, you are honorable without nothing to show for it. Because in his prayer tells us, <laughs> he was lacking in his life. Praise the Lord. Stronghold of limitation. It will only last as long as you allow it to be there. Praise God. I want us to pray. Say every stronghold of wrong thinking. That has, don't laugh at this prayer now. <laughs> that has made limitations landlord over my life. Praise the Lord. <laughs> when I was reading about this man again, this man at the pool is when I say, ah, when I say he's the local champion, I say, ah, limitation has become his landlord. He's now saying, you know, I try you. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened. Amen. If you want it, you will crawl. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. You will crawl. You will keep crawling, crawling, crawling till you get there. Praise the Lord. But we are not crawling. Amen. We have been waiting. Praise the Lord. We are rising above every limitations in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every stronghold of wrong thinking. That has made limitation landlord over my life. Say I demolish it today. By the power in the name of Jesus. Say I demolish it today. 
by the power in the name of Jesus, begin to pray every stronghold of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wrong way of thinking that has made limitation landlord over my life, landlord over any area of my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I demolish it. I demolish it. I demolish it. I demolish it. I demolish it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. For some people, it's not over your life. It's in that business you're supposed to start. You've let limitation gain control. You've let limitation become the landlord, the one dictating everything. Limitation is collecting rent. In the form of what? It's removing your passion and your desires. Because you go to this bank, they say no. You, you become disinterested. You try to move on to the next thing. You're not supposed to be jumping from one to another. You are supposed to stick with one, believing that your God is able and he can open the door for you. Yes, sir. You hear one no doesn't mean that's denial. Praise God. Rejection is not always denial. You've already been said before, the people that reject you can call you back and tell you they make a mistake. Praise God. It's all about you having faith in the power of God. They may say no, but they can, they can take it back. <laughs> if that's what God really wants for you. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Because there are some limitations that are environmental. That are from the place we are born. Limitations that are assigned to a family. That you automatically inherited because you were born there. I want us to pray. Say every stronghold of limitation. From where I was born. From where I live. And where I work. I pull you down. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, every stronghold of limitation from where I was born, from where I live, from where I've lived before, anywhere that I work and currently work, I pull you down today by the power in the name of Jesus. I pull you down today by the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's a stronghold that limited my parents. And I've now decided to continue in my life. Say, I stand on the blood that overcomes. And I decree and declare, I shall rise above and beyond you. In the name of Jesus Christ limitations that stop our parents that if they could tell their story they would say ah this is how far I got but these are the things that stop me they could probably tell you these same things stop my mother and my father but that will not be your story he has to end here so it does not go to our children stronghold that limited my parents and I've now decided to continue in my life. Say, I stand on the blood that overcomes. And I decree and declare, I shall rise above and beyond you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, you stronghold that limited my parents, you will not stand a chance against me. You will not stand a chance against my household in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you will not operate against me. I stand on the blood that overcome. I decree and declare, I shall rise above and beyond you. My household, we shall rise above and beyond you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say every cord of darkness that binds me into collective limitations of my family. I command you to lose me today. Let me go 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cord of darkness that bind me to any limitation that is common in my family. My case is different. The case of my household is different. I command you today, lose me and let me go. Lose my household and let us go in the name of Jesus Christ. We have nothing in common in the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say every stronghold of limitation that tags along, no matter where I go. Say I stand on the blood that overcomes and I sever myself completely from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah, every stronghold of limitation that tags along, no matter where I go, no matter any member of my household and my family goes, in the mighty name of Jesus, I stand on the blood that overcome, the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, I sever myself, I sever my household completely from you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say, you stronghold of limitation that killed the glory of many in my family. With the blood that overcomes, I break free and rise above you today. That is a life sitting by that pool. If Jesus did not single him out, Lord knows, we will not even hear this story. It will not be important. But he singled him out. Mercy found him. And singled him out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Limitations that made people that all the story they told is bad story. Amen. Amen. Let's take this before you sit down and I read the scripture. Because limitation... Is something we have to break by ourselves. So you stronghold of limitation. That killed the glory of many in my family. With the blood that overcomes. I break free. And rise above you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. You stronghold. You stronghold of limitation. That killed the glory of many in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood that overcome. I break free. I rise above you. My, I break free. I rise above you. Every member of my household. Every member of Global Vision Ministry. We break free. We rise above you. We break free. We rise above you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You may have your seat for a moment, people of God. Let me read quickly the book of Isaiah 52, verse 1 to 2. I love this scripture. Say, awake, awake, O Zion. Clothe yourself with strength. You may have limitations. You may have shortcoming. Amen. Limitation. Another word for limitation is shortcoming. Shortcomings, falling short of reaching the goal. Enough is enough of you. Again, it's worse though. I've been I've seen some video of people that that have been. You guys have probably seen too. They have been training for a long time for Olympic marathon, all that, and it's time to run. They finish running. It's at the edge that leg leg will be collapsing. You've seen that before. This is what's happening in the spiritual. Look at that. Like a race that you have in, the, in your life. That they let you to, 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 to put in all the effort. You put in the practice. You put in the dedicated time. And legs, their legs start to collapse. Praise God. They are, they are, they are men. I've seen so many of them. They were number one. Oh, and when they get there, they're about to cross the line. Their leg gave, give up. They pass out. Right at the line. They can't even finish. Praise God. Hallelujah. Said, awake. Awake, O Zion. Clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garment of splendor. O Jerusalem, the holy city, 
the uncircumcised and the defiled will not enter you again. He says, shake off your dust. Rise up, sit and throne, O Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chain on your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. They may set limitations. Praise God. You better bounce over the limitation. Say, you have said this for me. It's not going to work. You're trying to limit what God has not said. What, what, let's re rewind back. And if we also believe that with the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive back, amen, the authority that man had from the beginning. Because from the beginning, the intention of God is for man to have dominion. Who can put a limitation on dominion? God said, go and represent me on earth and be like me on earth. Adam was a type of a king. Praise God. In doing what God told him to do, to be, to have dominion. The devil could not set limit, which is why he came to corrupt them. He could not limit them on the dominion they had. This is how he had to make them fall. So many of us fall into the limitations of darkness by the things that the devil have to offer you. You, 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 you see what he come to offer you is meant to limit you, not even to help you. Because the devil will give you something to make you fall short of what God is trying to give you. Hallelujah. Because he comes quickly. Once you already pray for something, the devil will come quickly to intercept. Give you something to keep you busy. Before the real deal is delivered, he gives you the carbon copy. But because you are impatient. You go and receive what he wants to give you. He will be like, ah, I got him. That is the limit. But what God has for you was unlimited. The devil give you something because whatever he gives will add sorrow. It will add pain. It will add problem. And when you start having problem, you say, God, God. No, it's not God. It's you. Your impatience cost. Praise the Lord. I want us to take this prayer. Say, my life, my glory, awake. Shake off the dust and launch me from the valley of limitation to my place of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every stronghold of limitation created to box me in in life. Created to box my glory, my destiny. Say I clothe myself with strength. I break forth, I break free in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you have your seat quickly? As I mentioned, we're rounding up, but the second scenario was that man Jabez. Amen. The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. But what was the honor? What did he have to show for it? He said, his mother has named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. And Jabez cried out to God of Israel, oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. When you see the prayer that he prayed, it means he was limited. He enlarge my coast. He may have, but he was a limited man. But the Bible still tell us among his brethren, we should see that what did his brethren have? If he is the most honorable and is honorable for nothing. Praise the Lord. The, he was the most honorable. Honorable. See, he was honorable without tangible evidence of the honor. Let someone say, I refuse to be a walking contradiction. I refuse to be a walking contradiction. Because <laughs> if, you, if they're calling you honor, honorable, but 
is just because of mouth. The evidence of being honorable is not there. Praise God. Yes, sir. No honorable. It's basically saying, honestly, look at the definition of the word. One who is worthy of honor, but he has never got to that place of honor. He is more respected than his brethren, but he never received the tangible evidence. I just want to go to the scripture when God shows how he honors. When he called Joshua, Joshua 3, 7. He says, then the Lord said to Joshua today, I will begin to honor you in front of all the people of Israel. I will do this to let them know. You see, they must know. There must be evidence of honor. Praise the Lord. Let them know that I am with you as I was with Moses. It's in alignment with the prayer this man was praying. He said, let God be with me. Let his hand rest upon me. Praise God. Something was missing in his life. And that's because of that repeated name that he always carried everywhere. He could not escape it. Praise God. The second one is the case of Esther. We all know it. When Amen was asked to what, would be, what he would do to honor, and he thought it was himself. And he started to count out the good things he would do. Like, who else can the king want to honor but me? And he had to go and honor his arch enemy. The person he was preparing to kill. That's the person he had to go honor. That honor also came with tangible evidence. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. I want us to pray as we're rounding up. Because since birth, the name given to this man was following him. Say every name that identifies my life for demonic limitations. Say I renounce them today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every spiritual defect that has placed limits upon my life. Jehovah God, arise today. Fix it. He's the only one that can go back. I cannot go back. And he knows all things. He has all power in his hand. Praise the Lord. Ah. Okay, can you just imagine, no? if he get into an argument with his brethren, they can say, good for nothing, brother. I want us to pray against such pronouncements. Say, evil pronouncements of good for nothing. People of God, some people's parents have told them that. When they are angry, they have told them, you are dead for nothing. Say, every evil pronouncement of good for nothing that has set a limit on how far I will go in life. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus, I renounce them today. Say, I break free in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, let every reproach that has limited me for so long, let them be removed, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I call this man's limitation, limitation by, by default. Limitation by default. Say every limitation that followed me from the day I was born. I decree and declare it is over today. I am delivered from your grip in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every limitation that no one in my family has escaped. Today I decree and declare by the blood that overcomes me and my household, we overcome you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every stronghold of limitation that is constantly reinforced by any name assigned to me, I tear them down. I tear them down permanently. Some people come and give you nicknames. But you don't know what they attach to that nickname. It's not the name your parents gave you, but they say, oh, 
I want to be calling you this. I want to be calling you that. Pay attention to how far, when you were younger, anybody that just came out of nowhere and said, this is what I want to be calling you. And you don't know why. You've been answering that name. You don't know what they're pronouncing into your life. Praise God. Two more prayer points. Say satanic reconditioning. Through negative pronouncement upon my life. That has become a stronghold in my mind. Jehovah God, reverse it today. Don't forget when the enemy wants to limit you. You need to say something. What you constantly hear, you will believe. And when you believe it, you will believe you don't need to do anything or you cannot do anything. You hear it over and over and over again, it sticks in there. And you accept it, you agree to it. And it can come as little as, nobody in your family has ever done this before. You can hear it so often. You think you will be the first? You think you will do it? You can't do it. They, they will even say, many have tried, many have failed, and you will hear that. You just think, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of the whole family, or I don't want to be, bring embarrassment to the whole family because I'm trying. Praise the Lord. It's a satanic reconditioning through negative pronouncement upon my life that has become a stronghold in my mind. Jehovah God, reverse it today. In the name of Jesus Christ, last but not the least, say every word that I have continuously heard and agreed with that has become a stronghold. Say, I disagree with you today. I tear you down in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we are delivered from every stronghold of limitations in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you almighty father blessed be your holy name for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen give god a hands of praise please we can do better than that give the lord a hands of praise hallelujah god bless you man of god more grace to you in the name of jesus christ and so our father we exhort your name we thank you for the authority that you have given us in Christ Jesus, for the power that you have bestowed upon us. Your word says, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So today, we come in agreement and we decree with the authority of the church that every stronghold of limitation will tear you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold of limitation, it doesn't matter the format that you show yourself. It doesn't matter how you're trying to operate by the authority in the name of Jesus. We tear you down today. We say no more limitation. In the name of Jesus, we will mount up with wings as he goes. In the name of Jesus, we will run, we will not be weary. We will walk, we will not faint. In the name of Jesus, we receive power. To achieve greatness in the name of Jesus. We are moving forward by power, by fire, by the authority in the name of Jesus. No more limitation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we thank you for your son that have used to bless us tonight. We pray that you bless him in return. Bless him, bless his household, bless the works of his hand. Bless everything that concerns him. In the name of Jesus. Above it all, we pray that it will not disappoint you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as we be heading out to go to our different homes tonight, each end of this, let your presence remain with us. For those joining us online, Father, let your presence remain with them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that even tonight you reveal yourself to us. Give us a new revelation. Father, we pray that you reveal to us the next step to take in life so we will not wander around in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, each end of days. We give you all the glory. Your name alone be lifted and praised forever. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Say, my Lord, my Father, this is my seed. Bless it, O Lord. Increase and multiply it in the name of Jesus. I use it as a key to unlock the windows of heaven. Let your blessings be released unto me 
abundance be released. Let testimony be released. Let your name be praised. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Tomorrow, the same time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Amen.